Electrical continued. I got the wires from there all the way through here and uh, coming down in here. So these are the connectors that will be used. And um, no wires coming through here yet because that's all the underground stuff. But um, <clears throat> I got the, the trenches dug and at the correct depth. And then, you know, here's where the out stuff is comes into these pipes. I got a little drainage pipe to fix. Um, my goal now, for chance, is to verify the depth. Now I'm videotaping with my left hand. So these pipes are kind of springy, so I step on them and uh, go ahead and uh, check the depth here. So 18 is the minimum, and a lot of this right here is right at 18, and then uh, 24 a little bit later. That was a little pipe that I, a drainage pipe that got fixed. And so, you know, we'll do some random test spots here. I'm going to put these little measuring, I'm going to use these conduits as a way to drop down and measure the depth because right now I can't move any vehicles through here. So that's kind of a pain. But I'll do the same. You know, go from the pipe. To the ground here so this one's more like 20. I did most of this conduit today you know we'll go here now this spot here it is tough to videotape left-handed I'll tell you this spot here I couldn't get them to lay side by side but it's extra deep all in here and so even even uh, from the upper pipe you know we're 21 22 or so. So I had to go up there for that reason. I had to change the angle. There's a big huge rock right there. You know, so we'll we'll speed it up here. We'll keep going. Say like, I don't know. Go with this spot right here in between the two. Same thing. Get it in there. And, oops. Get it uh, on that pipe. And then you can see 19 so same I had to change course here too but uh, similar I got a couple water pipes there I got this one dropped in and then uh, running it to this box so the you got 24 inch sweeps coming into this box and then this was a little bit of a, a lot of obstacles in there, here, you know, just able to keep it much more straight. And also I just, I maxed the, uh, I maxed the trencher depth right out. So like these ones are 24 plus. <coughs> and these cut real clean too. So like this might be one of the more <coughs> shallow spots of this cut and from the top of the pipe there, you know, still, still 20, 21, a couple spots where it's even 30, but uh, you can see, I mean, very deep. I just got to watch my tracks. I'm trying not to knock the dirt in there. Like this looks like probably one of the, one of the more deep ones. 24, 25 right there. And it got a little, little squirrely here. Another, another big rock, but um, the pipes laid in here pretty good with the change. So this would be probably one of the more shallow parts of the cut depth. And you can see it's in the straight granite. It's at about 20, about 20. <clears throat> so. You know, like here, here, if I jump on that pipe, that pipe will be super deep. But, you know, yeah, let me step on it. That's what I need is to get some dirt in there. Top of the pipe to here, you know, solid 22, 21, 22. Insane, you know. All this stuff, you can see, it's, it's deep, deep. 
and then here's not deep because I've got it propped on the shovel handle because I've got to, um, you know, really nail down exactly where it's going to end up coming through the foundation. But uh, it's just propped up. You can see a lot of depth in there. And, you know, I ran the trench over here, so I'll probably end up putting, you know, this is going to come in this side, um, electrical, and then I'd imagine somewhere on the side of this building I'm going to pull water, and so they won't overlap, but there'll be water in this side of the trench. So that one's not quite as deep. You can tell, you know, the difference there versus there. But, uh, so, yeah, looking at, I don't know, 350 feet of about... 24 plus up to 30 in some spots uh, trench depth to make room for the pipes. And it's been a long one. Just made the final connections here. So, um, once I get that corner of the building knocked out and really nailed down for sure, um, and I get this inspected, I can push the dirt in and then pull the wire. I'm going to pull the wire. I'm going to start in the center and pull you know, just under 200 feet this way and start in the center and pull just under two feet, 200 feet that way, make a connection in the middle. And so that's, uh, that's where it's at.